Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here, bringing you this video from my home office here in Jerusalem. Um, great news today, in my opinion, um, although some people seem to be a little bit cautious, and that is that um, there is news of not just one, but two international grocery chains who are apparently going to be coming to Israel. One of those is certain, that's Carrefour. For those who haven't been to a Carrefour, I've been to one in France. I think I've been in Italy. Maybe that wasn't Carrefour. I think it was Carrefour. Chain of grocery stores. And um, they have announced a memorandum of agreement, an M M O A, with uh, Ya'er Bitan, which is a Israeli chain of grocery stores. They own both Bitan and the Mega chain. People probably have are more, more familiar with Mega. And also Spar, which is apparently a Dutch store, is apparently also coming to Israel. And Spar gets me just excited as Carrefour because uh, I grew up with Spar in Ireland. I never knew they were Dutch. It's like kind of, for those who haven't been in a Spar uh, and are familiar with the Israeli concept of a Makolet, somewhere between a convenience store and a full-fledged supermarket, it's kind of like that. So this is really, really positive news for those of us in Israel because as I've mentioned or I try to mention on this YouTube channel, blogs I've written, stuff like that, Israel is insanely expensive. And given that we're currently undergoing these food shortages globally as a result of the disruption of uh, Ukraine being one of the world's bread baskets, we're seeing the, the price of living going even up, going up even more and more. Not only that, but we also know that electricity prices are going up in Israel next month, August, by 9.7%. It's 10%, needless to say. So I think it's easy, easy to miss, <clears throat> whatever the expression is, to miss the big cost by looking at the small cost of a loaf of bread. But it's all part of a big picture of Israel being too expensive and this country being dominated by oligopolies, cartels and monopolies. I'm going to jump into the Times of Israel coverage. There has been coverage I've seen in uh, Hebrew. Uh, generally, I recommend checking news about Israel in Hebrew, but I'm just going to jump into the English coverage for uh, the benefit of a more uh, global audience. I've just changed my levels a tiny bit. So this is from the Times of Israel today, and they say, Arrival of French supermarket Carrefour will drop living costs, Lapid, who is our new prime minister, predicts. PM stresses the government backs market competition. Now, I may be mistaken about this. I don't think I am, but it's possible that I am mistaken. I think this is the first time an international grocery store has taken a bet on the Israeli market. Now, I started a thread today on Living Financially Smarter in Israel, which is a Facebook group, and uh, I would have considered myself traditionally one of the more pessimistic people one may encounter in this life and oddly enough I find myself in the weird position of being the group uh what's the word of a pessimist optimist saying guys this is good news people are saying well you know it's going to be another Ikea for those who don't know Ikea exists in Israel as a franchise but it's not but it has extortionate local prices one of the most expensive Ikeas in the world you can look up an Ikea product in Israel, look up an Ikea product in the US and you'll usually find the Israeli product is two times the cost, if not more. So the pessimists of this group are saying, you know, don't get too excited. It's going to be another Israeli franchisee situation. It's going to be not really Carrefour. It's going to be Carrefour with Israeli prices. And I would firstly say, well, you don't know that. Two, even if it turns out to be Carrefour with Israeli prices, the fact that we have more competition in the market and the fact we have the first intern the first signs of international competition in the Israeli market, which is two deficits from a competition standpoint. One, we are a relatively small market of only about 10 million consumers. Two, Israel has the requirement of kosher, kashrut, which exists nowhere else in the world. So even if all that's negative, negative, negative. I argue this is a great day. It portends much hope for international competition coming into Israel and lowering our obscene cost of living. Much has happened in the airline industry. So uh, with that, with my sort of rant out of the way, let me go back to the Times of Israel coverage from today. It says, Prime Minister Lapid predicted Sunday the arrival of the major French supermarket chain Carrefour in Israel will contribute to a much needed drop in the cost of living. Uh, yes, it is much needed. 
The Premier made his remarks as it was reported that in a separate development, uh, the Dutch-owned international supermarket chain Spar has also inked agreements to open branches in Israel. Lapid said in remarks at the opening of the weekly cabinet meeting that Carrefour would bring great reductions in prices for basic items. We expect additional large companies to follow suit, Lapid said. It can't be that in a rich country like Israel, there are citizens who can't make ends meet. And this is a huge paradox of Israel. We've gone so quickly from a small capitalist backwater to an advanced economy with the very high cost of living. The problem is in Israel, only 10% of the economy works in the vaunted high tech sector, the technology companies, meaning that 90% of Israelis don't work in high tech barely make ends meet and they've been left behind and this has led to rapidly rising rates of income inequality as measured by the Jenny coefficient etc in Israel. Back to the article stressing the government backs competition Lapid warned all the players in the market that those who raise prices in an irresponsible way are likely to get up in the morning and find themselves with unexpected composition well damn I help I hope so great this is brilliant. I don't know how anyone can read this coverage and be pessimistic, but you know, such is uh, such such are these finicky beings known as humans. In March, Electra uh, consumer now just some the brass tacks of this deal. In March, Electra announced it has signed a memorandum of understanding with Carrefour to open 150 branches to replace its uh, you know to be tan branches. And I had up here on my screen the branches. They also own Mega, as I mentioned. Mega might be a better known name to people than uh, in Israel than uh, 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 Yenot Beitan. Carrefour products are expected to appear in Yenot Beitan stores this summer. So this is very this is very quick. We're in the summer already, right? And the first Carrefour branded supermarket. So they're going to firstly start selling Carrefour products, then actually open you know supermarkets with Carrefour branding. Will open at the end of the year. Already not so far away. We're already in almost August. Financial news outlet Globes reported at the time the franchise agreement is for 20 years with an option for another 20 years after that. Um, and that's it. Now, the Spar stuff, I did find coverage in uh, in Hebrew, uh, if I can find it here, saying that there is a little bit on shakier ground, potentially, um, that this memorandum, memorandum of agreement is in violation of another one. So that's not as clear cut. For those who don't know Spar, uh, I can't believe it would be so weird to go to a spa in Israel. I grew up with a store in Ireland. It's this somewhat uh, lo lovely, inviting um, kind of tree logo, right? So that would be amazing if we had not just one, but two international stores. But let's just, uh, let's not get our hopes too far inflated. Uh, there's also some English language coverage about this. Netherlands-based retail chain spa to enter Israel. Amit Zev, until recently CEO of Yenot Betan Car for Israel, has signed a letter of intent on launching Spar under a local franchisee. Um, so things are happening. I don't want to say too much more because, you know, people, I understand the pessimism that, you know, we've been so accustomed to living with this frightful cost of living here in Israel that you kind of say, eh, it's going to be IKEA V2. But um, I think that we can hope for better. I just want to say, I think personally, glass half empty person, whatever you want to call me, I'm very excited. I think this is great. Even if these branches don't, it ends up being... What's the worst that can happen is they're just as expensive as the other Israeli supermarkets and the status quo is maintained. The best that can happen, that what, we, what we're what we hoping for, is that these uh, inter the entrance of international competition will lower prices for Israeli supermarkets. And the point I don't see people... I see people missing, in my opinion, is that this will also serve to put Israel more on the map. So you're going to have international tourists from France and Europe coming in here on their vacation... And they're going to see Spar and they're going to say, oh, I know Spar. Spar is in Israel. Carrefour is in Israel. And again, these are, I think, really positive things. It's, it's all part of the grand vision of Israel of making this a unique country, but also a normal country where we don't have to deal with a frightful, obscene cost of living because me and all the other hardworking Israeli citizens and taxpayers are well and truly tired of being extorted by these local monopolies, cartels, and uh, oligopolies. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have your own thoughts about the entrance of these international companies to Israel, don't hesitate to leave a comment. If I got something wrong, leave me a comment. Engagement is good. Thank you guys much for, uh, for watching this uh, YouTube video and more videos. If you want to get more from them, more from me about Israel and the other topics I cover here, please punch the subscribe button and you will get those updates on your feed. Thank you. Coming soon, more videos.